In this session, we will discuss a fine enciphering transformation, take a few problems and solve and see how we can encrypt a given data using a fine enciphering transformation. We are already aware of Caesar cipher where the cipher equals the plain text P plus K mod 26 where C happens to be the cipher alphabet, P happens to be the plain text alphabet and K happens to be the translation, right? So if K is 3, I basically shift by 3 positions. If K is 10, I have to shift by 10 positions and we are operating in mod 26. So instead of having a relation like this, along with K, if I also have another number A which gets multiplied with the plain text P and instead of K I have a value B operating in mod M then we obtain a fine enciphering transformation. So apart from translation B we are also multiplying the plain text value by a given number A by, by a given scalar factor A to obtain the cipher alphabet. So let's consider a problem and see how a fine enciphering transformation works. So the question states that we have a 27 letter alphabet. Where a blank is denoted by 26. So essentially I have the alphabets A to Z. 0 to 25 and a blank space denoted by 26. Use a fine enciphering transformation with the key values A equal to 13, B equal to 9 and encipher H E L P space N E. So I have shown a blank by a dash so that we know that there is a blank. So I have to encrypt this data, this plain text using a fine enciphering transformation. So we have the plain text. The plain text is H-E-L-P-M-E. -E. So we know that the alphabets A to Z are denoted by number 0 to 25 and a blank by the number 26. So let me write the corresponding numbers, alphabets, let me write the corresponding numbers for these alphabets. So H is nothing but 7. So I have A, B, C, D, E up to Z represented by numbers 0 to 25. So H is 7, E is 4, L is 11, P is 15, a blind space is 26. M is 12 and E is again 4. So I have to get the ciphertext. So how do I get the ciphertext? So for the alphabet H, so I have the ciphertext equals A which is 13. So let me write the expression A into plain text alphabet plus B in mod 27. So why is it more 27? Because we have 26 alphabets plus a blank. So I have the value 13 into plain text value of H which is 7 plus B value is 9 in mod 27. So this gives me 90. So 19 corresponds to the alphabet T. So next, E. So the cipher text for E is, so I have 13 into plain text value 4 plus 9 in mod 27. What do we get? We get the value H which is 7. 
Next for L, the ciphertext is nothing but 13 into 11 plus 9 operating in mod 27. So the equation remains the same. So we get R which is 17. So then for P and then for M and for a blank space. So the ciphertext for P is 13 into 15 plus 9 mod value. So for P we get P itself which is 15. So for M the ciphertext is 13 into 12 plus 9 in mod 27 so we get 3 which is D so 15 corresponds to P and 3 corresponds to D and then a blank space the cipher text is 13 into 26 plus 9 operating in mod 27 so for a bad line space, I get the value as x, which is 23. So what is the cipher text? The cipher text for the plain text is for h I have t, for e I have h, then I have r, then I have p, for p, for a blank space we have got x. And for M, we have got D. And for E, we have got H. So this happens to be the cipher for the plain text. Help me. So let's take another problem. So let's consider another problem. In a long string, the frequently occurring alphabets are y and v. If they correspond to e and t, read the following message. So the given cipher is q a o o y q q e v h E Q V. Right? So it has been given that the frequently occurring alphabets in the plain text is Y and V. And they correspond to the alphabets E and T. So this is the cipher text. So I have the plain text, I have the cipher text. Right? So the alphabets Y and V correspond to E and T. So I have E and T. And they in turn correspond to the alphabets Y and V. So let me write the corresponding numerical values. Since nothing has been mentioned in the problem, we assume that there are only 26 alphabets, 0, 2 which are represented by the numbers 0 to 25. So alphabets A to Z represented by numbers 0 to 25. So the plain text E is 4, T is 19, Y is 24 and V is 21. Now let us see the expression. The expression for cipher text is nothing but a into plain text value plus b in mod n. So this is the expression which we need to follow if we need to find the cipher text. But here in the given problem we have got the cipher text and we need to find the plain text value. So modifying this expression, we have the plain text value is congruent to 
some other number a dash into ciphertext alphabet plus some other number b dash operating in mod m. So there are two unknowns a dash and b dash and we have two relations. So let us substitute these two in this equation and let us try to find the value of a dash and b dash. So now the plain text alphabet E corresponds to the ciphertext alphabet Y. So considering the first case, the plain text value is 4 is congruent to A dash, the ciphertext alphabet is 24 plus B dash operating in mod 26. So considering the next one, I get another equation. So I have the plain text value which is 19 is congruent to A dash. The ciphertext value is 21 plus B dash mod 26. So I have these two equations. Let me subtract these two equations. So I cancel out B dash. So I get minus 15 which is congruent to A dash 3 operating in mod 26. So now what is minus 15 in mod 26? We know that to get the positive value of minus, minus 15, I need to add 26 to minus 15. So 26 minus 15 would give me 11. I have added 26 to minus 15 to get its positive value, which is congruent to A dash 3 mod 26. So what is A dash? A dash is congruent to 3 inverse into 11 mod 26. So please remember that we do not write 11 by 3, but we write it as 3 inverse. I need to find the inverse of 3. That means I need to find another number which, when multiplied with 3, would give me 1 as the remainder in mod 26. So by inspection we know that 9 3s are 27. 9 into 3 is 27. So if I divide this by 26, I get 1 as the remainder. So therefore the inverse of 3 is 9. So we have 9 into 11 mod 26 is a dash. So 99 in mod 26. The remainder we get a dash as 21. So we have got the value of A1. So substituting value of A1 in any one of the equations. So we can substitute it in any one of the equations. So what is B dash? So let me take the first equation. B dash is congruent to 4 minus A dash into 24 mod 26. So we have 4 minus 21 into 24 mod 26. So 21 into 24, you multiply it. So essentially you would get 4. So you multiply these two, add 26 to get its positive value. So finally you end up getting 16 in mod 26. So we would get 20 in mod 26. So this is mod 4 mod 26 minus 21 into 24 mod 26. So 21 into 24 is a negative value. 
So you keep adding 26, multiples of 26 till you get the first positive value which ends up in 16. So 16 plus 4 gives me 20. So we have calculated the value of a dash and b dash as 21 and 20. So now we have to substitute the ciphertext value in this equation and get the plain text. So let us do that. So if this is the ciphertext, I have the plain text value. So we know that the alphabet's Y corresponds to E and the alphabet T correspond V corresponds to T. So we already have these three alphabets. So let me consider the equation plain text is congruent to a dash which is 21 into ciphertext alphabet plus 20 operating in mod 26. So we have to substitute all the values, all the ciphertext alphabet values in the given equation and get its corresponding plain text values. So for q, q is 16, a is 0, O is 14, Y we already have, this is already done for 16, E is 4, V is 21, H is 7, E is 4, Q is 16. So we only need to find the plain text alphabets for Q, A, O, E and H. So what is Q? So for the alphabet Q, so I have plain text which is nothing but 21 into 16 plus 20 in more 26. So we end up getting 18. So I get 18 here which corresponds to the alphabet S. So S, S, S and S. Next, for the alphabet A, so I have plain text value is 21 into 0 plus 20 more 26, which is nothing but 20. So 20 is the alphabet U. For O, we have 21 into O is 14 plus 20 in more 26. What do we get? We get 2. So please make sure that you add up the values. Take the remainder in more 26. You end up getting 2. 2 is C. And then E. What is E? E is 21 into 4 plus 20 operating in more 26. So this is for E. So you get 0, so 0 is A, and then for H, H is nothing but 21 into 7 plus 20 in more 26, so we end up getting 11, so 11 is L. So we have the plain text success at last. So given the cipher text, we can get back the plain text using the equation plain text equals a dash into cipher text plus b dash in mod 26. So that would give me the value of plain text.